So if you've been part of the online marketing community for a while and have been attending events and watching events that got sponsored, you've probably seen the Alpha Investors logo pretty much everywhere. Actually, I was in a conference in Bali in October last year and the people that actually were introducing the sponsors at the conference you know, were sponsored by Alpha Investors and people had no idea who they were, even the conference organizers, and they just said, thank you for the money, but we're not exactly sure what they do. So to fix that, Andrej, the person that actually runs Alpha Investors and owns it, reached out to me so that I could review their main service, which is building affiliate sites and authority sites for people. It's pre-made for you. You just give them money and they do it for you. And I think he took a bit of a risk here because if you check my previous reviews like Link Whisper, etc., you see that I never give full marks to pretty much any service and I always find something that they could do better. Uh, so he took a bit of a risk, he knew about this, but he still went for it. So I salute his courage and we are going down the rabbit hole of getting a site made for us by Alpha Investors. And actually to make this review fair, I'm going to be releasing the domain. So a little bit later in this video, I'm going to give you the domain that they built for me so you can go and check it out. It's online right now. Uh, and you can throw it in Ahrefs if you want, see where it ranks, see how things evolve, etc. So you get a good idea first-hand what it is to spend money on a site with Alpha Investors. But before I do that and before you get the domain, I'm going to ask you if you like this kind of content, this kind of content concept, please drop us a like below the video, subscribe and click on the notification bell because it really helps us reach more people and kind of gives me motivation to create more of that kind of content really. So before we jump in and actually reveal the domain that Alpha Investors has been building for me, I want to go through the sales page and see what they're promising you before you sign up and what you see if you never give them any kind of money. Basically, they promise to put together a full affiliate site for you. They have different packages. The lowest one is at $899 at the time at which I'm recording. The, the most expensive one, which is the one I got for this case study, is $5,299, so not that cheap. Now, all their packages come with 12 months of hosting on WPX Hosting, which is a pretty good host. It comes with a domain. It comes with a pretty good design, as you will see. It comes with some training and SOPs. What really changes is one, the content. So on the lowest package, you get 8,000 words of content. And on the biggest package, you get 50,000 words of content. And the way they create the content is a bit different as well. On the two highest package, they actually use Quora. They use a clear scope to actually optimize your content. If you're using Surfer, it's kind of the same as well. Whereas on the basic package, they just you know put content together, but not really doing that deep optimization that you could, you could do yourself, really. They also add things like lead magnets and email setup. They also add infographics and some link building in the more expensive packages. Apart from that, they're more or less the same. And really, the main promise is we will build you an affiliate site without you having to do anything. And so, one thing that's quite impressive is it takes them between 21 and 40 days, according to the sales page to build one of these sites and you will see that they were quite close uh, when they built my site so actually it's not bullshit they actually seem to be working pretty fast when I build the site I take a lot longer usually so I think that they're doing a good job here so now that we've looked at the sales page and looked at what they promised let's look at what actually happened after I went and essentially checked out for this by the way this site was provided to me by Alpha Investors. I did not pay for it. Uh, I just wanted to be 100% clear here. They wanted me to review it. They built it for me for free, but the package I got is a $5,299 package. So when I signed up, I received a questionnaire almost immediately that asked me like, hey, do you want us to pick a niche for you? Or do you have an idea of a niche you'd like to be already? Uh, I said I like the software niche because I actually like it in real life, uh, but I wanted them to pick a niche for me because I wanted to see what their niche selection process is and how solid it is. And if they're really looking into monetization and building a strategy, I'm going to share what they got for me a little bit later. Another main question that they had was show us some uh, affiliate sites that you like. And I know I showed two to them. I showed moderncastle.com, which is a really cool kind of like household item with your affiliate site. And I showed them safewise.com, which is an alarm system uh, affiliate site that also looks really good. So after I filled the form, what happened is Andres, the owner of Alpha Investors, emailed me with a PDF and there was a massive list of niches in there. And he was like, hey, just look through that PDF, see if there's something that you like. And if you don't, we're happy to do custom niche research for you. So I did go through the PDF and I said, I quite like the home renovation niche because I have done home renovation. I'm actually in my new home right now, uh, not long ago. So I was like, why not? Uh, and at the same time, I said, well, I'd like to still see your custom research on the software niche. During that exchange, Andrej also mentioned to me that I actually had a $500 budget within the package to, for them to pick me up a drop domain that already had some link and some authority. And he asked if I wanted to do that. I said, absolutely. Please find me a drop domain that will make sense with the niche that we're going to pick. And that was it for this exchange. And three days later, he came back to me with five software 
niches that he proposed. Essentially, the, the five sort of niches were video, music, design, business and PC. And, and below that, I essentially had a list of bullet points with sub silos that were proposed. Uh, it was okay, but I wish they sent me numbers and they actually gave me an idea of how things could be monetized and so on. And I didn't get much else than the actual email that they sent me. And uh, you know, if I can check these really easily on Ahrefs and figure that out and find affiliate programs, I'm quite good at this. But if you're an investor that has never done this before, um, then that's where I would probably get lost and probably be forced to one of the niches on the PDF. And I was not super impressed with the custom niche research, basically, uh, because it wasn't presented to me in a very, very professional way. I also felt like some niches, like the design software, were quite unrealistic because if you look at the number of tutorials and actual designers creating websites around that, then if you're not a pro, it's going to be very, very hard to compete. There's a kind of like a community. And if you're not part of it, unless you go for like dodgy PB endings, you're not going to be able to do very well in this niche. So I wasn't the most impressed with the custom niche research. So in the end, I told them, well, OK, that didn't work out. Let's go for the home renovation niche. Can you guys look at this for me and prepare maybe a list of silos that you could work on? Which they did. They came back to me a few days later with five proposed silos to go after. The five silos were mold pest and insect removal, roof removal and replacement, replacing of the tiles of the roof, etc. Hardwood flooring, bathroom remodel and HVAC. All of these are pretty good niches, especially for lead generation. I've worked in several of these niches in lead generation and I know you can make good money. It's not classic effort marketing in the sense that you sign for a network for all of them, but lead generation can be quite lucrative in these niches. However, the way it was presented again was a little bit lackluster, the same way they did for the custom niche research. I ended up with just a list of bullet points, no numbers or anything. I had to go and check this out myself to pick the niche. So yeah, it's like I, I don't want to choose just based on my feelings on the list that they sent me, I would like to actually see some numbers, maybe a report or something. That would be a better way of handling this. So anyway, in the end, I just took this stuff and checked it out in Ahrefs and, and I ended up telling them to go with bathroom model because I've done two bathrooms in the last 18 months. So I thought I knew a little bit about that and I had some ideas for keywords. So I told them to go for that. During that time, what they did is they actually found that drop domain that they had promised me. They sent me three domains. I'm not going to send you the three domains, but you'll see the final domain that I picked in the end. And that part was actually really good. The domain that they found, and I'm going to reveal it now, was bomish.com. Uh, it was a DR16 domain, and it had some really, really good links pointing to it, actually. Links from PopSugar, which is a DR88 site. Links from Apartment Therapy, which is a DR86 site. Or links from countryliving.com, which is a DR84 site. So on this level, I was really impressed. That was really good, especially because I did not have to add any money on top of the money I would have paid them for the package. They picked that up for me and they registered the domain and I got a pretty good kickstart for that website. And from that point on, my involvement kind of dropped off. I told them, build the site, take care of everything, take care of the keyword research, take care of, I don't want to hear about anything, just send me the URL when it's done. And they did it. And actually, during the whole process, they give you access to a custom dashboard that shows you exactly where your project is at. So if you want to check every day where they're at in terms of content writing and building the site, etc., you can see that in real time. I did not really check it during the process. I was just doing other stuff and letting them do their work. What I was curious, though, is how well they would do with keyword research, right? So in the end, they ended up building 23 pages of content for that site, which, um, you know, is OK. What was quite surprising is kind of the split of content, right? Because 18 of the 23 pages were actually informational content that's pretty much not monetized at all. And only five pages were roundup reviews, you know, classic affiliate stuff. So let's look at these uh, on two separate ways. We're first going to be looking at the informational content. And the keyword selection was not my favorite. The keywords range from how to install a urinal to how to transform a bathtub into a shower, which are OK keywords, but they're dominated by really high DR sites. Like the top three, top five for most of these keywords is, is quite unrealistic to reach for that website unless maybe you snag the featured snippet. Uh, and at the same time, these are not popular enough keywords so that there's a lot of link opportunities. So I like to write about very popular topics or stuff that I might not rank for, provided I can run something like skyscraper on this and actually build domain authority to my site by getting a lot of links. But the topics were neither popular enough to actually build a lot of links, nor did I have a chance to rank for them. So that content felt a little bit pointless. However, one thing that really impressed me is the content itself. The quality of the content is actually pretty good. It matches pretty much the best agencies I have been using for content. The sentences are short, it's well structured, it's easy to read, the images are relevant, 
and the internal link was also really good. So that part was actually really good. I just wish it was for the right keywords. Now, if we look back at the commercial content, uh, the keyword selection was a lot more sensible. It was realistic for the site to rank for these keywords. There are low DR sites on these, on these pages, on the first page of Google. And so it's quite possible for the site to rank. They're still not the best keywords though. Like there, there are keywords with like more search volume or even like easier to rank for in the niche. They were probably matching a series of criteria and these are the first keywords they found and they wrote for this. So yes, the site could rank for this with a little bit of a push and optimization. Uh, it was better done here. The content again was probably written by the same writer because it was also really good. The sentence, sentences were short, it made sense. Imagery also made sense, which is quite hard to do when you're not an expert or when you don't create your own imagery. Internal links were here. Even comparison tables were good and placed properly on the top of the page to get more conversions. Uh, they use AWP for that, so it's pretty industry standard. And I think it was pretty good overall. Uh, overall, the quality of the content is good. I just wish the keyword selection was equally good. Now, if we look at the site design, I was also quite impressed. It was pretty good. And what I really liked is they actually looked at the sites I provided in a questionnaire, especially Modern Castle, and they actually mimicked a lot of the design from that site. And so I ended up with a clean site that loads fairly fast, uh, using pretty good plugins. They use a lot of plugins that we use ourselves. They use Elementor Pro, they use AWP, they use WRocket, they use WPX hosting for hosting the website. So overall, the technical foundation of the site is sound, it's clean, the, so the site loads fast enough, and it looks pretty good. So, and I would even say it beats most affiliate sites that I see people output these days. So in terms of design and branding, I think they did pretty good. So overall, I approved their site build and I think it's quite good and you can rely on it. And finally, to close it down on the breakdown of the site, the stuff that impressed me a lot less was actually kind of like the extras you get on the more expensive package. So the infographics, they were not very good. They looked like something that I could buy on Fiverr for $10 and I just don't see the value of infographics if you're not doing outreach for them. It's just like, you don't rank for having infographics, you rank for having links to your infographics. So that didn't make a lot of sense. And all the email marketing stuff was also pretty bad. The angle of the lead magnet was the blendest possible. The only opt-in there is is on the sidebar of these info articles that have no chance to rank for their keywords anyway. And actually the site's been live for three months now and absolutely nobody has signed up for the email list despite it having a little bit of traffic. So overall, I was quite impressed with their ability to create content, with their ability to put the site together and their technical choices. But for the rest, it wasn't my favorite. And I wish I did give them the keywords because I think the site would have done a lot better. And talking about the results of the site, how is the site doing now that it's been three months that it's been live? By the way, I actually managed to put the entire site live together in 45 days. So that was close enough to the deadline they gave me. Usually this kind of project get really late and that did not happen here. So that was pretty good on their end and you can see they have a tight system together. The question you're really asking now is, am I sipping cocktails on the beach with the money I made from this site? Well, I could because I'm on a green screen, so I can do that. Uh, in real life, this is not really what happened. The rankings did take off a bit, and I would attribute most of that to the very good expired domain that they found for the site and the very good links it has. So a lot of keywords are like bottom of page two or middle of page two, um, a lot of info keywords especially. And you can see the site has some life into it, and Google is like pushing it up uh, okay, but according to Webmasters Console, the site only got 2,500 impressions and 24 clicks in the last three months, which is not a lot. However, three months is a really short time for a new website. So I would not judge the performance of the site right now. Uh, I think I would give it another six months. So please don't negative SEO it and let's see what happens to it in six months. It might do okay because as I said, a lot of keywords are on page two and so on and stuff has been rising up very slowly, but still been rising up. So we might actually end up with a good surprise in a few months from now and actually realize that this was a really good choice of keyword and I was wrong. But my feeling from the experience so far is that we probably need to put some extra content and some extra link to that site for it to actually rank and essentially make a return on investment. So I know a lot of you guys are gonna be disappointed because you're just hoping that you can just give 2,000 bucks or 5,000 bucks to alpha investors and just you know, make money and never work again. That's not exactly how it works. And if it did, everyone would be doing this. However, still the question is, is, is this service worth it? Is it actually good? And to be honest, for everything they put in the site, 50,000 words of content, 12 months of hosting, premium domain, uh, like some link building, etc. It's really well priced. It's really not that expensive. And if you were doing things yourself, 
it would cost you less, but not a lot less. So in terms of value, I found it pretty good for what they're doing, despite the low results I got so far. We might get surprised later. I also think that if I got a little bit more involved in the project and I actually did the keyword research for them and gave them the keywords I want them to write about and maybe the site structure, um, the site would have a much larger shot at actually doing really well. Um, it's not bad, but I think if you spend the extra time doing the market research, you can do better. But actually, if you're asking me, am I excited about this service? How do I feel about this? I'm actually pretty excited. And let me explain to you why. Not because I'm going to be building my main websites with alpha investors. However, we are very busy. We are running a lot of projects. And very often, by doing market research for other projects or by just you know, Googling around, etc., I find really interesting niches I wish I could go in. I just don't have time right now to take care of this, start a website, etc. And that's really what I should be doing so that I can bypass the sandbox at the time at which I should pick up the project. And that's something that we call seeding domains in our company. When we have time, we like to actually register domains in niches that are interesting to us and actually put some content on it, like five, 10 articles, build some links to it, even if it's very basic just so that the domain can age and like one, two, three years later, the domain is like several years old, has had some content, built some relevancy in the niche. And I if I have time to work on this, I can actually dedicate resources to it and actually now turn it into a real site. And that's what I think Alpha Investors is for. You can use them to seed websites for you while you're busy doing other things if you have more money than time to work on these things. And I would not be surprised if I actually spend a little bit more money with them of my own money to seed some websites for me, but I would give them the keywords and I would pick the niche because I think I can do a better job at that. So to conclude this review, is Alpha Investors going to build you a website that is retirement worthy for just a few thousand dollars? Not really. It can save you time and actually make you act on opportunities if you have more money than time. Absolutely, and they're doing it pretty well. I would just not bother with the infographics and email marketing stuff. I would just stick to links and content and maybe find drop domains because that part, they're doing it really well. So yeah, that's basically it. I was very skeptical of these kind of services before. Uh, and honestly, it's gone better than I expected despite the shortcomings that I've been detailing to you. So I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, drop me a comment below and let me know, would you actually trust a company like Alpha Investors to build a website for you and then take it over and actually try to make it work. And if you enjoy this kind of in-depth review where we actually do the stuff that we're reviewing, just subscribe to the channel below, drop us a like and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you in the next one.